Hello, everybody. Welcome, Lakeisha Riddick here. Hey, babe, thanks for joining. And thanks for those on the replay. Thanks for those on the web. Hey, Twitch Bravo, welcome, welcome. Those on the replay, you can still tap for hearts and you can share it if you enjoy the content. And those on the web, if you could favorite and retweet the broadcast notification to let me know that you watched it so I can thank you. Yes, and if you'd like to invite followers, thanks, babe iOS, swipe right, Android, swipe up. So, Lakeisha Ridicule, this is your first time. Welcome, Sav B. Grace. Welcome, welcome. I am a blogger and online talk radio show host, and I blog and I scope about my faith and my weight loss journey. So, I did a scope a couple of days ago, and you can go check out my YouTube channel to see Hey, how you doing? Um, all my um, previous scopes, you can go, hey Joyce, welcome. Um, you can go there at my YouTube channel, Share My World Show. So check it out. I did a scope about celebrating your first because so many times we do things on our journey, not just weight loss, but just in life. And we forget to celebrate along the way. And one way to help us celebrate along the way is to celebrate our first. The first time we did this, hey, Cherry, welcome. So I wanted to share with you guys, I had an opportunity to have a first moment. Guess what I did today? I was able to drink half my body weight in water. I did three and a half of these. Each one of these is, is 32 ounces. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I'm thinking like, if you follow me long enough, I'm on day 302 of my journey. When I started this journey back last year in April, talk about drinking water exclusively, not me. No, I wouldn't be doing it. But to think that I would drink 112 ounces of water in one day, it's God. I'm telling you, I got to give God all the glory. Great. I'm working on it. Start with something. Um, savvy grace. I'm not telling it. You follow me long enough. You, I'm not going to tell you eat this, drink this. I'm not going to do that because you have to be led by God. And it's a process. I told you I'm day three on one and I'm just now first time drinking half my body weight in water. I've heard this, it all the time. I heard people say it, but I got a little boost today and it was a little confirmation. I'm in a group um, you can follow her. She's actually on, um, Facebook. Her name is P trainer Shonda. She has a private, thank you, Cherry. <coughs> she has a private Facebook group and she does different challenges and it's called life changers faith. Thank you so much. Faith and fitness community. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, she just did a random challenge today about drinking half your body weight in water. Usually I don't do challenges. Okay. I don't do group challenges. You love Shonda, right? I don't do the group challenges because I've had issues with people pleasing. You follow me? You know that I've had these, these issues with people pleasing, meaning that I would do these types of group things to please other people more than pleasing myself. So I'm, I've been kind of leery of doing them, even though, yes, I publicly share my transformation and my journey with everybody. Hey, thanks for joining back in, Savvy Grace. But in terms of doing an actual challenge publicly, nah, I kind of shied away from it. But when she did this, God said, do it. And I said, okay, God, all right, I'll do it. Okay, I'm, you know, trying to be obedient uh, here. Day 302, still working on different things. And I'm glad I did it because I've, I've, dr I've drank about 96 ounces before, but I never pushed myself to go that next mile to actually do half my body weight. You know, I'm down. Wild water is difficult for me also. Let me tell you something. I like flavor and I like flavor, okay? Never just wanted to drink water. Always had to have something in it or juice or soda, something like that. But I tell you, this is the power of God. This is the power of having faith in something more than yourself and knowing that if you put your faith in God, God can help renew your mind. That's, that, that's it. I tell you guys, this journey is not just about me losing the pounds. God is, is helping me use my faith to transform my mind set about my habits toward food and my habits toward exercise. And today he confirmed it when I was able to drink three and a half of these. I mean, it was like, wow, he was giving me grace to do it. Usually I'm a stay at home mom and you know, I have my children. I have all these other things to do. I'm blogging, you know, other activities or whatever. And I always found a way not to do it. Remember I told you guys about the excuses 
you know, I can versus I can't, go look those videos up as well on Share My World Show on my um, YouTube channel. But today, because God gave me that confirmation through Shonda's, um, um, her challenge to do it, he gave me the grace to do it. Whatever God asks you to do, he's going to give you the grace to do it. Hello, he already knows that you can do it. God is never going to tell you to do something that you can't do. Thank you so much for the hearts. I repeat that. He will never tell you to do something that you can't do. Remember Moses? He told him to go to Pharaoh and Moses, I don't know. I can't do it. God is like, tell him I am who I am that <laughs> sent you. I got you. And then what? Moses kept him in a hall and then God said, okay, I'll send Aaron with you. But even then, God always has... Uh, we say the ram in the bush, right? Like for Abraham, but he always has a way of escape, a way to help you. And for me, I had to wait to day 302, but I finally did it. I was able to do it. And I'm just so happy. I'm so, this is my first and I'm celebrating. I remember this day, February 17, 2016, that I drank half my body weight. Now think about it. That's a lot of water, right? I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm down 220. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus, right? From... 280 pounds, okay? But still, that's a lot of water. You're thinking, you're intimidated. You're thinking, oh, I can't do it, which is what the enemy wants us to think about when it comes to doing things that God calls us to do. Oh, I can't do it. We already brace ourselves. It's too much. Because you think, that's a lot. But for me, what helped me was my husband got me this water bottle. It's 32 ounces. So rather than getting like a big gallon of it, because I did try to do that before. I did try to drink it in a big gallon and it didn't work. And then this, this one also has a straw. That helps me to be able to drink it. And I don't know, there's something about the straw, I guess, or whatever. So I was able to do it. But doing it this way and being able to count, okay, one down, that's uh, 32 ounces. Another down, that's another 32 ounces. Another down, that's another 32 ounces. And a half one, that was the 112. That helped me to be able to do it. But what actually gave me the strength to do it was God. The, the, the faith that he had in me to need to keep this promise to myself to do it. Thank you for the hearts. So I just wanted to share this with you guys as you follow me. I'm trying to do different things on these scopes now, trying to figure out how to connect with you guys more so you can follow my journey. Because as I said from the very beginning, this is a journey. It's a process. So for me, losing these weights, these pounds, I'm excited. I'm happy. But I want you to see that it's a process. This is not like, okay, a one and done. Oh, yeah, I did it. Oh, yeah, no. You're going to see me all the way through. One of my girls got on the scope that I did the other night. And she was like, wow, that she didn't almost recognize me. That's what I want you to see, that it's a process. Don't just automatically look at the When you see people who are there before and after, you see like, wow, they lost like 100 and something pounds. How did they do it? Sometimes they forget too. Thank you for the hearts. What they did. I won't forget because you know why? I have these videos. I have my blog, sharemyworldshow.com. I have I have you guys to remind me, okay, about what I did and what how God brought me through. So because it wasn't just me, it was my again, my faith in God, him helping me and my work. Because what I had to actually put this bottle to my mouth and drink it okay god didn't come down and do it so i just wanted to share this with you guys i'm so happy i'm so excited and i didn't even tell my husband babe see this is like i said for me i have to do things i know we like accountability i know we like to do things to have somebody to run alongside and my cousin is, is one of my greatest he is my greatest supporter but some things for me personally i have to do for myself i have to like keep it to myself and this was one of the things yes in the group i was sharing my progress but at home my family didn't know anything i don't even know babe did you know that i was doing this i don't know because I was just drinking the water and then I was able to finish it. So again, thank you for following me. Thank you for following my progress. And if you want to connect with me, my Facebook page, share my world show. Hey baby, just join back in. I was just saying, did you know that I did this challenge? No, because I didn't tell you. <laughs> I didn't tell you. I, all you saw was me just drinking, but he sees me drinking water anyway. You see now for the most, and my kids do too, but he didn't know how much I was drinking. So see, babe, I did it with the grace of God. So, um, like I said, connect on my Facebook page, Share My World Show. You can connect on my YouTube channel, Share My World Show. You can connect on my blog, sharemyworldshow.com. And, and if you want motivation, want support um, from a faith emphasis, I have a Facebook group. It's called Faith 
Weight Loss Journey, F-A-I-T-H, the acronym stands for Fit and Inspired Through the Holy Spirit, and it's on Facebook, it's a private group, and like I said, the emphasis is on faith, it's not on, you know, on the the particulars, okay, about, you know, you drinking this and you doing that, I don't I don't have the, that expertise, Shonda has that expertise, her and her husband, I call them the dynamic duo, P trainer Shonda, She's a, a personal trainer. Her husband's a registered dietitian. I just found out today that that um, he's one of the few black men, um, male dietitians, registered dietitians. So isn't that awesome that you can be connected to somebody like that? I don't have the expertise, so I can't give it to you. But I can point you in terms of my journey, what I'm learning about my faith. And that's what I do in my group, Faith Weight Loss Journey. So if you'd like to join, send me a request and come on in and, and be supported and inspire and support and encourage other people. So thank you. Thank you so much for celebrating with me. Um, and if you think somebody else would be encouraged by this, share it, please share it with them so that they can be encouraged too. I always say that, you know, that's how we help each other. So thank you so much for sharing my world. Now go and share your world with others. Be